It's not live at, on Facebook yet, yet, yet. Okay, we are live on the Instagram. We've got uh, Brother Malik from Eclair and Moy today. Um, he's a French brother. <laughs> Uh, and uh, he's got some recipes to share with us today. He's been very kind to share one of his recipes, uh, the French, the French way. Uh, we, we eat quite a lot of crepes and uh, all these things. And uh, today we are going to learn about the eclairs, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, inshallah, brother, if you can give us a bit of an introduction about yourself, and then yeah. what you're gonna make for us today, and how easy it is, if you can let us know about that. And then, inshallah, we can start with the recipe. Okay. So, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, I am Rabadra uh, Malik from Eclair Yuma in uh, Leicester. So, I own uh, my uh, shop. I have a coffee shop in uh, Birmingham Road. So, today, what we will be uh, cooking, it's uh, Eclair. So, it's uh, the traditional recipe. It's a very old uh, recipe. Like, the, for the, the shoe bun, it's the recipe... Uh, uh, it's like the 15, uh, 40 years. So it's the time of the, the Queen uh, Catherine de Medicis. So the, she have a cooker, and the cooker he invents this uh, this stove to make the shuban. And then later on, you have éclair, the religious, all the uh, different things like this. Okay. okay. So it's a simple recipe, but it's a technical. You have some technique points. You have to to see uh, how it uh, it works. Okay. Okay. So can we start? Yeah, Bismillah. Please okay. start. Yeah, Bismillah. So for that, you will need to have these things. I don't know how you speak. You say in English? Spatula, maybe? Spatula, yes. Spatula. And another one, stronger. Okay? Mm. And also, this. Casserole in French. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so for this recipe, uh, we go with, um, it depends what you want to do with the eclairs. If you want to do uh, like savory eclair, you can start with uh, 250 grams of water. But us, we start with half uh, water and half milk. So here I have one, uh, 125 grams of milk Sorry, how much? mixed with 125 grams of water. Okay. And 125 grams or so of milk, 50 50. Okay. If you want uh, the shoe more soft and more sweet, you just put 100% of uh, milk. Okay, sorry, brother. Can I want... just a sec? Um, yeah. uh, Nadia, could you please check uh, the Facebook? Uh, have you gone live on it? It's not working? Yeah. Uh, okay. For me? No, no, yours is fine, brother. Yeah, we can see you. Oh. So yeah, please okay. continue, brother. That's it? Yeah. 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 So I said if you want uh, eclair to be more crispy, more strong, you put 100% of water. If you want middle, you put 50-50 water and milk. And if you want it uh, more very soft, you just put full of uh, milk. Okay? Yeah. Then I put 3 grams of salt. Salt. What? Yeah, okay. Yeah. And five grams of sugar. Okay. I put it in the uh, liquid. That's it. Then I add uh, the fats. You can use butter or you can use ma margarine. It's up to you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you put it, uh, if the weather is cold, you have to cut it in small square, you know, to dissolve more faster in the, the liquid. But it's like, like now it's okay, just put like this. So I put in the liquid all. It's uh, 110 grams of fat. Okay. <coughs> That's it. So inside mm -hmm. you have the, the water, the milk, the salt, the sugar, and mm -hmm. the, the butter, okay? So it's very important to measure all the ingredients before. Like this, you are not loose, okay? Mm -hmm. yep. So I have 
Uh, I have so far after I have um, 150 grams of uh, flour. Mm -hmm. And this is for after. You can put any flour, no problem, huh? with uh, red flour, strong flour, but you can take uh, any flour for, for bread, you know, it's not a problem, flour. Okay, and also for the flour, I have 250 grams of uh, eggs. Okay. Okay? This is for, for after also. So now we'll start to eat the... The milk. Mm -hmm. You eat in a normal, you know, uh, normal fire. Huh? The thing is, you have to have on the fire now. You have to cook to, to boil the the milk with the butter. Okay. So don't put too fast, too high the the fire, because you want mm -hmm. the the butter to melt just before the boiling. Okay. If the boil the if the water start to boil before the the milk the butter is dissolved, you will lose too much water. Okay. Yeah. By vapor, yeah. So you have to be careful to break all the, the butter inside. I'll show you. So break the butter in small pieces inside. And you mix slowly slowly, okay? Okay. Now we just have to wait until the, uh, the milk is boiling. We're gonna make it I boil, right? Eh? Yeah, yeah, waiting to make it boil. It can take a few minutes to step down. My queen English is okay or no? No, no, it's good. Uh, good huh? It's good, brother. You can understand. That's the whole thing. I mean, you are good at uh, what you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem. After it's like in all the recipe, and the more you put the better ingredients, and more you have the best result and more tasty. If you just use uh, like water and the margarine, the clear would be you know, basic, normal, no, nothing special. Okay. Then in this milk, you can put also some seasoning. You can put like uh, maybe a vanilla. You can put uh, any flavor you like, you know? Mm hmm. Now the butter is totally melted in the liquid, like you can see. Mm -hmm. So we're just waiting for the for the milk to boil. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I can put more high the, the fire. So once the milk is boiled, what are we going to do, brother? After that, I will put in one time inside the, the flour. Okay. When it's boiling, I will put in one time the flour inside. Mm -hmm. It's better to put the flour, you know, before that, inside the, of this. I don't know how you call it. See, yeah. Yeah, yeah. To make it more, you know, uh, something. Okay. Yeah. So now I have, I have the milk. Uh, the milk, my milk is boiling, so I stop. Mm -hmm. It's important every time to, to stop when you do any mix on the fire. And I put in one time the flour inside. Okay? So it's not going to make it into the lump, brother? Sorry? It's going to make the lump? If you make the lumps, what shall we do? Uh, sorry again? I'll carry on mixing it. That's fine. Uh, yeah. I just put the flour inside of my mix now, you know? Okay. And now I am, like you can see, I have to mix a little bit quickly to uh, to mix uh, nicely the flour with all the, the liquid. So I show you now. Now I have a dough like this, you know. Okay. Just like this. Yeah. Now I have to put on the the fire again to uh, it's not to cook the dough, but to take up the humidity inside of the dough. For two or three, okay? How long does it take, brother? Sorry? How long does it take? Uh, two or three minutes. Hmm. Two or three minutes. 
until I can see on the um, on the bottom the door start to uh, to stick the things, you know. So it will mean it will be uh, will be okay. It's like two minutes or three minutes. I will show you. Next, next. So now I show you. Now we have we have a door. It's not sticky. Okay. And we can see on the bottom. It's like you have like a bit uh, something stick on the the bottom. You can see. Yeah. Yeah. So this means it's okay. Well, so when I cook something, it always sticks at the bottom. <laughs> For me, that is Sorry. not okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, okay, I know. <laughs> so now what we have to do is to um, to put the eggs inside of the dough, to mix it, to incorporate the, the eggs inside the dough. Okay. So, okay, so normally we put one egg by one egg. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now it's mixed, so I just put it a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I mix to incorporate the eggs, the first one. We can do with the mixer, it's more easier. But I want to lose weight, so I have to work like this. Okay? Yeah, that's fine. So I put a little bit more. <laughs> normally, one egg is like uh, 50 grams. So normally, it's between four and five eggs. It depends on the flour, you know, of everything. So, brother, the flour that you used is that that can be any flour. The, yes, you can put also uh, like a coop, coop, um, cocoa inside to make the chocolate eclair special. You can do what you want, you know. Okay, can be any flour. Coconut? No, no, the cocoa, uh, cacao, chocolate. You use the plain flour or self rising flour? The, no, no, not the self rising, the normal one. You don't need the, no, no, no. Okay. You can take any one, but not the self rising. Because we don't want the, what they put inside of, you know, to, 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 set, to, to raise the, the dough. We don't want this. But, uh, they found, you can ask on the written recipe as well. Sorry? The recipe, would you be able to give us a written recipe? Because people are asking for the recipe too. Oh, they want me to write the recipe? Yes, please. Yes. Yeah, you want me to repeat? No, no, no. If you can write it later and give it to us, we can post it. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. Okay. Exactly. No problem. So I put a bit more eggs inside again. Yeah? If you use the mixer, it's better to um, to to put the the flour inside the, the bowl of the mixer, and then to put the liquid on the flour and mix, and then to take off inside and to to eat again, just opposite. But by hand, it's in this way, happy. Okay. It's a bit too much hard work for me. <laughs> Soon finish. The, logo, the longer spot is in the oven. Because the shoe has to to cook for maybe 40 minutes to 50 minutes, depend on the oven.
yeah, we've been seeing quite a few of uh, the French places opening up recently. Yeah. And they've got all these got uh, different recipes and uh, <clears throat> the products are the same, but the taste is really different from one another. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I will show you now. What is it? So now the texture is too strong. You see? How is it? It's too strong. So I have to put more liquid inside. So what I will do, I will add some um, some milk. You know? I can put also some water, but uh, after it, uh, it changed the recipe, so it's better to put more eggs or more milk inside. So normally with this recipe, you can bake like, uh, depending on the size, like uh, 10 to 15 uh, eclairs. Okay. Yeah, depending on the size. So now how much water do you add just now? Sorry, milk you add just now? How much what? Sorry? How much milk you added? Uh, it's with my eyes, I put it just like this, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, it depends. But normally it's not, not more than 250 grams. But depends on the flour, if you drink too much uh, the liquid, it depends, you know. Okay. But it's better to be uh, more strong than too soft. If the dough is too soft, after you cannot do something with Because on, in the oven, it will go flat and you will have you know, the that you will get maybe like a pancake, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's better to have it a bit more strong. Okay. So now the dough is ready. Okay. So the dough must be a little bit shiny and a little bit uh, soft, you know. Okay. You take the spoon and you take up the spoon, it must be like a little bit of wet, you know, like a small wet. Okay. So now it's better to leave the, the dough to rest one hour in the fridge to get a better result. But us, we'll do it directly. Okay? So you don't wait for an hour, you just do it. Sorry, brother? You, you don't wait for an hour before you make no, them. No, 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 of course. I know we have time, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's no problem. It will show. So after this, you have to, to take your bag, like this, you know, mm -hmm. with, uh, I don't know how you call it, the nose, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So for this one, it's like the... The 14 millimeter? 14. 14, I think, yeah. With the, the tip, it's better. Okay. If you don't use it with the tip, you can uh, use a fork after to, uh, to make the, the, the clear spot on top, you know. Okay. It's better to use this one. And you take your bag, take this, mm -hmm. turn the bag. You put in the side of the nose, okay? Mm -hmm. And the top, you put it right up like this. Like that. You can see? Yeah. Yeah? Then you take the dough, you put it inside, mm -hmm. and you, you put it with the, your hand like this, you take up all the dough. Okay. You don't need to put it all inside, huh? Yeah? Inside here? It's okay? Okay. Like this. For me, I put all inside the bag, but for 
who don't know who don't use this too much, you know, it's better to put a small quantity inside. Trend. No question, nothing, it's okay? Yeah, so far it's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we actually enjoying it. Generally, the sessions are a bit of um, information based. This one, we enjoying it. Okay. And free of charge, you can see, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Okay. After that, we put back the back like this. Mm -hmm. And we put down the dough. Yes. Then we close here. We turn, we twist. And here we we'll put back like this, and we twist and we push. Oops. Twist and we push. Twist and we push. And like this, nothing happened, you know. Very clean, no problem. Uh, after that, I have to take my tray. It's interesting what he's doing, but it has to be the right quantity, otherwise if it's too runny, it's not going to stay. Yeah, 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 too runny, no, no, no. It means you put too much uh, eggs inside, yes. or maybe you didn't uh, cook it uh, too much, you know, but it's too late. You, you don't have to throw it, just keep it, and then you make another one, a bit, a bit more strong, to mix the two. Yeah, no need to throw, you know. Okay. But don't try to 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 cook it because you will lose all everything. So you don't, you so can't cook uh, it again. Sorry. You can't cook it again. If it's too runny, you can't uh, cook it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So now we'll I don't know how you say in English, the French push it. We we'll push it the eclairs. Okay. Okay. We we'll make the bag like this. You can see your uh, here, oh, like this. Yeah, That's better now. Yeah. Yeah. I do slowly, yeah? yeah. So normally the eclairs, it's like uh, 13 to 15 centimeters. Depends. Huh? Okay. So we push, we push, we push. We break, then we go back. So. I don't know if you can see the clear. Yeah? Yeah. You can see? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do the clear like this. Uh, you can do the pitch like this. Okay. This is the shoe band. Mm -hmm. Camera, you can do also the, the small, small shoe, the small one. Okay, you can do different design. This one, I guess you can uh, write your name with it. I can write, uh, I can make a heart for you, so brother, no problem. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, this one, it's a, uh, how you call it? Uh, it's a white animal, you know? The big bird's white. Okay. You can see it like to, to, to swim on the lake. I don't know how you call it in, uh, I forget in, uh, in English. But you make with the, like the, the neck, like an S. Yeah, it's very nice. 
nice to be inside. Yeah, it's uh, what was what's the spoon? I'm not into blue. I forget. Yeah. It's like the flamingo white one, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we can do also the mini. Mini eclairs. Okay. The mini eclairs. You know, you can do what you want, huh? Okay. You can do any size yeah. and any shape you want it to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's fashion to do numbers, you know? So you can do also numbers for the who want to make the birthday. Oh, we can actually make numbers as well for that. Yeah, 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 you do what you want. You can do a heart for the brother. Oh, nice one. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you enjoy, you know? And what is good with the patashu? It's uh, when it's uh, you make a mistake. Example, I want to take off uh, the small eclair. I just take it back. And as you can see, it's clear. And you just put back inside the bag and you do something else. Okay. Oh, good idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, we made a mistake. So, yeah, yeah. You can just. Yeah. In Patisri, in normally, when you do a mistake, it's finished. But for the Patashu, it's nice. You can still uh, go back, you know? And uh, I will give you a bonus, a bonus like a happy a, a present. Exactly. This one, so you can do if you uh, put inside of the, um, the boiled water, you can do the Parisian gnocchi. You know the gnocchi, the pasta gnocchi? Yeah. In boiling water, sorry, what was that, brother? Yeah, you make like this. I'll show you. <coughs> If you have boiled water inside, uh, down of the, the pipe, we just do like this. We cut. Okay. Okay. And this is a gnocchi. This one. Yeah. But it's the Parisian gnocchi, it's not the Italian one. The Italian one is with potato, and the Parisian one is with the patachon. The same base for the eclairs. Okay. okay? So you just do like many many in the boiled water until the new uh, the, the dough it go up. You wait until it cook, and it, so you have a hand make new. Okay. Another one way, if you put in the the oil, like for the for the the, the fries, you know, uh, you mm -hmm. make the same the, the same shape of the eclairs. You have you have the churros. Okay. Churros. Yeah. Churros, but yeah. uh, good quality churros. Normally, churros is just uh, water, salt, and uh, flour. But this one is uh, churros, but more rich, more tasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. So you can make quite and, a lot uh, from one thing. Sorry? So you can make quite a few different things from one. Yeah, different things. Yeah. You can bake it in the oven, you can fry, and you can uh, boil in the water. And also, if you want to take some advance, you just take this and you put it in the freezer like this. Like I show you, if you want to make it pass for big quantity, you just put make like this a uh, long line. Mm -hmm. Like this, a long line. Then you make many. You froze it in the freezer. Uh, you froze in the freezer. Wow, my English, very nice. You freeze it in the uh, you froze it in the freezer. Yeah. Okay. And then when you want to use it, you just take the the bar like this. You cut it with a knife, in different size you want, and you can take it uh, directly. Mm, very good idea. Yeah, if you have time, you can uh, you can do. Huh? That's it. Okay. Much sure this is, yeah. seems to be. So quite easy, yeah. but it takes some practice. I mean, obviously, when we look at you, right? You've been doing this for years, so you know yeah, yeah. how it to do too. it. And also, you know, yeah, you have to know also your oven because uh, I can bake it in my shop, but at home I cannot bake it because uh, my I didn't test too many times my oven. You have to bake the the eclairs normally for I told you like for forty minutes like this to one hundred eighty degrees. If you have the fan. Sorry, okay. with the fan, 180 degrees. 
For how many minutes? For 30, 35, 40 minutes until you become uh, very golden. Okay. And what about the people who are doing that at home? In you have to try it. You have to try the, yeah, the small quantity. You have to try it. You know? Because it depends on the size of the oven. Uh, it depends you have fan or fan. The, the better way to cook it in an oven without fan. With static uh, hot heater. Okay. It's better. Brother, so you know how, we, how we can put cream in there? Once it's baked, oh. how are we gonna put cream? Uh let me check if I have one cook. I don't have I bring the declare at home. Uh to put the cream, uh mm -hmm. you just take it up and down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Me I use a pen. I use a pen. And I make three points down in the eclairs, mm -hmm. and then I split with the same technique for the for the the dough. Mm -hmm. I split with the cream inside, after it's very clean, very perfect. You know. Mm -hmm. After you can do like the the British way, you know, you just cut it at a sandwich, and you put fresh cream and chocolate on top. You, know? you can do what you want. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. After we have like a savory one, just do like a small shoe and we put like a cheese on top. Okay. We bake it. Uh, you can put also like a turkey also with cheese. Uh, you can put also like a, like a very big uh, sugar, like pearl sugar on top also. You can do profiterol, you can do many things, you know. Mm. So basically, this is just the base of it. You can put any kind of filling on it. You can yeah, put yeah, creams yeah. in it. You can even, uh, I assume, you can have some kind of a butter and cheese on it. Yeah, it's up to you. But us in France, the, the normal one, the classic one, is we put uh, pastry cream, chocolate, or vanilla, or coffee inside. After, we know, we glaze with, uh, with the chocolate, or vanilla, or coffee on top. And that's it. But now we have many, many uh, spiron types, you know. Okay. Gotcha. After that, when you finish to uh, to put on the on the tray like this, you can put some eggs on top also if you want with uh, with this, like on the you know like on the cakes, you know. Put some eggs on top, you know, mm -hmm. so just to make it more uh, more brown, you know, more golden. Only for this. But when you use this this one, you don't need, you know. Okay. It's enough to put it there. Yeah, yeah. The shape is very nice. It's uh, very clean. And that's it. And then, uh, okay, when uh, when you cook it, how to know when it's cooked? Uh, you have to look the, the eclair, you know. And uh, all the parts of the eclair must, must be golden. Mm -hmm. If okay. you see some parts, they are still a little bit yellow or white. Don't take it off because when it will take it off after the repair will be down like this. It means inside it's not cooked. Okay. Yeah. So it must be everywhere or content. Okay. So about 40 minutes you said brother to cook them. Yeah, yeah like 40 minutes. In my oven here I cook I cook uh, 50 minutes in my shop. Okay. 50 minutes. It's a long yeah. Because if you cook it too fast, it will be it will be burned outside. It will not cook inside. Okay. So we can put chocolate, vanilla, like, chocolate, we like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the bread, just put it on. Yeah, yeah. May yeah. I put the the fondant? You know, fondant. It's uh, like a, it's a, it's a sugar like a syrup, mm -hmm. and we mix it very long time, long time, long time, long time, and, until the oxygen go inside and make like, like a crystallization. And become very soft, uh, white, no? Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, after that we can uh, put any aroma we like, any flavor we like, you know? And we just glaze it. So, you, is your shop closed at the moment? <laughs> yeah, my shop is closed. Uh, I only take some order by Instagram on Facebook, or by Monrail or so. And I do the home delivery uh, on my own. Okay, my Yeah. So, yeah. okay. I don't have any eclairs today because I have order this morning, so I hold the delivery. But I cannot show you the results, yeah. No, no, no problem. Uh, we've tasted it before, so we know it's good. 
Okay. Now you have to try it now at home. Well, we've got to make it and see how it turns out. We yeah, might have yeah, to share the pictures and recipe with you that this is how we of did course, it. Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to share. And if you have any question about the, yeah, of course, about the ingredients, about the technique, about the, the mistakes you did, you don't know why it happened, just uh, contact me or no problem. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely put your details on there. And if you can yeah. share the recipe, that yeah. would that would be brilliant. So at least we uh, we don't make the mistakes on the ingredients because we know how to make it now. Uh, kind of we know yeah. how to make it. But yeah. if we okay. get the recipe, that would be brilliant. Okay, okay. No yeah. problem. Uh, now you, you, want share to... the recipe. you were saying something? Yeah, I was saying, just share the recipe, we'll pass it on and let's um, start making this and we'll share the pictures with you, how we did it. Uh, you want me to, to write the, the, the recipe now? Um, uh, where are yeah. you going to write it? Eh? On the paper, I don't know, if you can see or... Okay, if, if you text it to us, then we'll just uh, put it on, okay. on the Instagram. Okay. No problem. And this is the, is the traditional recipe, after we can modify, you know. It's yeah. up to you. Uh, this one is the, the one we learn at school in France, you know, for the apprenticeship. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad to know that there's quite a lot of things that you can make from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah many ways. Yeah. It's good, yeah. Yeah, because you got the base now, so you can put any kind of filling on it. And uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, as a, I mean, I'm not a chef or I'm not a, even a cook. Uh, mm -hmm. To me, it looks easy to make, but once I start yeah, making yeah. it, then I'll have a better idea. Uh, I'll definitely share a can, picture with you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you have to share, of course. But I tell you, the more difficult part, part is the, the, the baking in the oven. Okay. Yeah, we will definitely make one, uh, make some pictures and share the recipe. We will share the pictures with you once we get the recipe. Right. And we nice. uh, will let you know get on with it. Okay. Thank you very much, sir, brother. Thank you very much for your time, brother. It's been a pleasure having you. And inshallah, right. we'll, we'll definitely share the pictures. How did it go? And we'll ask the yeah. people who are watching to make some mm -hmm. make of some of these. And uh, of try it at home, or wherever you mm -hmm. are. And then share the pictures with us so we can share it with the brother and see how the results come up. Inshallah. So, inshallah, we'll have some more of these. Inshallah, we'll keep you occupied with it. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, okay. Jazakallah khair for everyone. Take care. Take care, brother. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum.